I've been serving for 13 years. I'm a yeoman, which is pay and personnel. I had a top secret clearance. I copied encrypted Russian signals. I was in the Air Force for uh, 20 years. Um, I retired about three years ago. I served in the Air Force from 1963 to 1969. My dad was in the Navy. My grandfather was in the Navy. Uh, almost all my cousins were in the Navy. Uh, ancestor that I'm most proud of was my great-great-grandfather who served in the Spanish-American War and was killed in 1889. My father was in the Air Force uh, and my, my grandfather was in the Air Force also. My um, father-in-law was in the Navy. My brother was also an officer in the Navy. My dad was in the Marine Corps. My grandpa actually served as a Marine. Um, he's no longer here with us today, but my fondest memories of him were him talking about his times in the Marines and how proud he was. So I just wanted to thank him for serving us. I, what I learned in the Air Force, my 20 years in the Air Force, is um, it's uh, three core values. It's uh, um, integrity, service before self, and excellence in all you do. And I, I live that every day. Discipline, <laughs> a lot of that, and just thinking outside of the box. You know, it was hard to go overseas, you know, and be away from my family for such a long time. I think so. I think it gave me a lot more discipline and a lot more understanding of things that go on in the world. My dad was taught honor and um, they lived by a code and so we lived by the same one. You look people in the eye, you shake people's hands firmly and you never lie. I think I learned most from him about, you know, dedication and putting in hard work to get things done. So, you know, he was a big inspiration to me as a little kid and I looked up to him. I always told him he was my hero. So. I'm pretty proud to say that my grandpa served uh, for our country. Yes, this is the uh, memorial that was set on Veterans Day of 1927 in honor of my great-great-grandfather, Oscar Henry Mercer. I'm happy to say that we have finally recovered the last remaining of the artillery rounds and it uh, is going to be set in a park here on city property uh, after we build the uh, new fire station. that I think they're amazing for, you know, taking that part of their life and giving it to, to serve for the United States. The, the idea that we have the freedoms that we do and we maintain those freedoms as long as we don't allow others to attempt to take them away from us. Thank you for your service. Uh, thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for giving us the rights. Ross, Dad and Charlie, thank you so much for your service. I am proud to be the daughter and the sister and the daughter-in-law of servicemen who sacrifice for this country. We, we fight for the red, white, and blue. Uh, without the veterans, without the ones who've gone before me, without the ones who are behind me, we wouldn't be a free country.